वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियरिंग ग्राफिक्स क्लास टुडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम नंबर 40 हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन सॉलिड एड सॉफ्टवेयर ओके लेट मी डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन ए हेक्सागोनल लैमिना ऑफ साइज 25 एमएम रेस्ट ऑन अ वन ऑफ इट्स साइड्स ऑन एचपी द लैमिना मेक्स 45 डिग्री टू एचपी एंड द साइड ऑन व्हिच इट रेस्ट्स मेक 30 डिग्री टू वीपी ड्रॉ इट्स प्रोजेक्शंस Uh, we will start with the normal line. We will go to the normal line and we will draw the horizontal line here. And uh, one end of the line will be given as x, and other end will be y. And then, so as you know, we are doing the problem in first quadrant. So VP will become above x y line, and HP will come below x y line. Okay. Next, we need to select the visible line to make the profile. go to line and select the visible line and now the hexagon the shape given hexagon and the resting is one of its sides on hp so the side or this edge should be come on the left side and to construct the hexagon we have a two option one is we can give the angle method by giving the angle and length we can construct construct the hexagon or we can directly go to application macros run macros and inside polygon we can choose it and once the inside polygon opens there is a pop up menu comes like this and here we can give the flat length because we are giving the flat length here and the dimension they given 25 enter 25 and number of sides because this is hexagon it will be 6 and then click it so after that you can press escape that command will be exited and the hexagon is created here and by default if the edge condition comes we can continue the same and second one more method is angle method we can uh, use it for the construction of hexagon so for that you just click the line and leave it and the next the all the dimensions we can give it in ribbon bar the side length they given 25 enter 25 press enter the first angle is 0 okay next after the again 25 length and then angle is we can give 60 and then again 25 angle is 120 and then again 25 angle is 180 and then again angle is uh, length is 25 angle is minus 120 and then 25 angle is minus 60 like this also we can construct the hexagon and here the corner condition comes we, if you want the edge condition we can use the rotate option and uh, select the entire object and go to any one corner make it fixed point and other end we can make it rotating point and you can rotate this one exactly perpendicular like this we can make it any conditions okay this is how the construction of hexagon by using angle method and the macros and after finishing this we can give the dimensions any one edge dimension we need to show it and then naming can be given the naming will be a and this will be b and here c and this one is d and then e and next is f so like this the naming is given and then to get the front view we need to draw the projection lines from the all these corners to xy line so here from the a and c and f and then d and e and next between these two lines the profile is looking like a straight line and we need to make that front view as a visible line so like this we need to make it visible and if you want to get the proper view we can use the zoom area option and whatever the area comes in the rectangular box will be zoomed and we can do it you know a clear view and okay next the naming so here b is coming first the a is hidden so that's why here the naming can be given as b dash of a dash and same way here c is first and f is second so this naming can be given c dash of f dash and then same last one is d dash of e dash okay the first step is finished and next step before going to next step we can check this length because this one is needed for second step and the second step they give one the lamina makes 45 degree to hp so this lamina is inclined to hp 45 degree so click on anywhere on the xy line leave some space and here and the length we know that is uh, 43 Point three and angle is forty five. We need to enter. Now we made it this one inclined forty five degree. You can give the angle by using angle command option. Select the line and select the x y line, and it will be forty five degree shown. 
and next the naming we can use the move option switch on the copy select the b dash of a dash and place it here then 3 dash of f dash place it at the, because this is hexagon it is coming exactly at the midpoint you can place it there and this one is d dash of e dash and now go to the line normal line and to get the top view draw vertical and horizontal projections and here you have to draw the b dash of a dash so it will be comes here you can drop to you and you can draw join back to you and now here c dash midpoint so we are getting the midpoint indication then only we have to click don't click something like this it's showing so go exactly at the line when it show midpoint it will the midpoint indication comes and on that point click it and come down that is a c and f so we can drop to you and here it will be joined back to d and now d and e like this and same way here also we can draw the line to get a and e and here f okay next go to the name moving and you see a a dash so we can get the a dash here that means a here then b and b dash we can get the b here and then c and c dash we can get the c here and then d and d dash we can get the d here then e and e dash we will get the e here then f and f dash we will get the f here now we got all the corners so now go to visible line and make it visible from the a to b to c to d and e f and back to a okay second step is finished now the last step second step surface inclination we finished the last step is the edge on which it rests that means the side on which it is rest is inclined uh, makes 30 degree to vp so okay now so we need to make this um, edge that is resting side is ab this ab is inclined to vp 30 degree so first go to line normal line and draw 30 degree when uh, when we are moving down side of the xy line the angle shows negative so that's why you go to your minus 30 enter minus 30 and draw an approximate the line with the length approximate length then show the angle 30 degree now this a b should be placed here so to do that we can go to the move option keep hold the can press uh, hold and press the control button press and hold the control button and then select all these six edges and then release the control button and now we can pick from a so go to the corner a pick it and place it on the 30 degree line after placing a is already on the 30 degree line now this b should become here so we can use the rotate option go to rotate option while rotating we should uh, switch off the copy because it should be replaced here it should not make copy so that's why we are switched off same way press and hold the control button select all the six edges and after releasing the control first select the fixed point a is fixed point and b is rotating point and move the cursor on the 30 degree line and like this we can move it and then uh, rotate it next go to the move option select the naming and keep it on the proper position a b and then c d e and f okay now go to line normal line so we get the final front view join one by one now here a is here a dash is on the xy line you can draw the perpendicular projection up to the x y line then b b dash is also on the x y line you can drop to you and now c so c dash is over here you can draw the up to the midpoint of this line and you can join back here c dash and now d dash so here the d dash you can join up to you and now e e dash is also at the top you can join up to you and then f dash is here you can join here now the namings we can give the namings first a dash this is a b dash and then c dash d dash e dash and then f dash after getting all the points we can go to visible line join it a dash to b dash to c dash to d dash to e dash to f dash and back to a dash so once we finish then the final step uh, is uh, to check the namings and keep it in a proper position while moving 
we should switch off the copy option because it is replacing it and keep it in a proper view it should not be overlap and it should be near to the respective positions like this you can move it this is the most important the representation is should be good so that's why the naming should be clear from overlapping okay like this everything is finished